We've taken matters into our own hands. I have no idea what I'm doing. Instead of hiring out the excavation, I'm just gonna be moving dirt. We're doing it all ourselves. Man, you look the part. Thanks. <laughs> I'm an excavator. It's a huge cost savings. At least it's not snowing anymore. Don't put that out there. <laughs> and really, what could go wrong? Just like a high consequence video game. It's another bright blue, beautiful sunny day. Yesterday was actually the first day of summer, so it was extremely fitting that yesterday was so hot and sunny and amazing outside. Today feels like it's gonna be just as good. We're gonna get back to excavating. I've got Brandon taking care of a handful of tasks around the casita and around the man cave and the garage and tidying up little things here and there, and then he's gonna come over and try to kind of help me shoot grades so that I don't dig too deep into the ground and I don't dig too deep into the mountain. But uh, for the most part, I'm just gonna be moving dirt. Is there a machine under there? Zerk. Just, oh yeah, just kick it at me, that's cool. Open your mouth. Open my mouth? It's already like maybe nine feet deep? Nine feet tall, I don't know. Uh, it's pretty big. Yeah, taller than me. That's, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely almost nine feet tall, so. Yeah. It's pretty cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. Amazon woman. <laughs> yeah. Trent is taking his ownership of this new excavator very seriously. He is greasing all of the Zerks. He's trying to keep it as well maintained as possible and extend the life of this machine as long as possible. So the morning process to get started excavating is taking a long time. He's almost done and sometime soon, we are gonna start digging. I'm greased up like a greased pig. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Shake it out. Very nice, stretch those legs. Here we go. Wow, is this just that. caked behind the track? It's caked behind the track. It's caked everywhere. Yeah. How's it going so far? Pretty good. Just, uh, you know, got about two days out of our five years worth of excavation that we've got to do. <laughs> so we've got about half of the building worth of excavation as far as the depth into the hill that we've got to go. Nice. Even it's... including like the three feet you think past that line? No. Okay, just to the building line. Yeah. That's still pretty good. Feels like we're making a lot of progress and then I take a step back and look at it and I'm like, oh, we actually haven't done anything. It's a little discouraging. I was hoping, you know, maybe like two weeks of excavation and we would be ready for concrete. We've got two days, so we've got eight more days, I think, until uh, <laughs> we can be to where we think we need to be. Nice. But that could also be a bad estimate. Could be four weeks of excavation. No, I don't think so. All right. I hope Allie's right. This is why you don't drive skid steers and excavators in the mud, because then this happens. It's great weather, and also this parking spot has become so functional. This is so nice and wide and flat. It's just like a bunch of dirt right now, but the potential is there and it looks so good. I'm so excited about being able to use this space. Almost the paint can shake. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like it. Well, there's no cure for being an idiot. And driving these things in the mud kind of means you're an idiot. Well, that's, I mean. But, you know, I just wanted to get going. I wanted to get working. There is really nothing wrong with driving these machines in the mud. It's just that if you don't clean them out after the mud accumulates and then it hardens, it becomes hard to drive the machine because it's like all clogged up with dried dirt and mud. But um, it's not like we could have like sprayed this off. We could have just not. We could have just not used it, but like that's what these machines are for. 
and he's cleaning them he's cleaning it now so it's fine i'm paying the price now How helpful are those guys? Pretty handy. All we've done is talk about our drinks. So <laughs> it hasn't really been too helpful yet. But eventually. I excavated pretty far back over into the corner here. I excavated pretty far this direction. Uh, now we're actually gonna get out a tape measure and try and mark some lines and figure out if I'm even deep enough to where like the wall is gonna go. Oh. And then we've gotta go past that wall because the footing is wider than the wall and then we've got to go past the footing because they've got to put forms at the edge of the footing so oh man it's dry it's pretty dry looks great soupy over there but we're not looking over there we're not looking over there <laughs> uh i excavated all this dirt put it all up on top of that hill used the skid steer to take it down to the far side of the garage create that little uh parking spot over there which will probably turn into a soupy muddy squishy rutted mess but at least it's got a good base down there and Hopefully the sun will bake it and dry it and turn it into like a nice piece of concrete, <laughs> like driveway pottery and no truck will ever sink through it. Eventually once that's all fully graded the way it's going to be permanently, we can compact it a little bit more and we can get some road base or gravel and like prevent as much settling and like uh, seeping of groundwater as possible. It'll, it'll be a work in progress for a while. It is a little sad because we worked really hard to do all the siding and all the stuff on the back of the house here. Yeah. And right now, Brandon and I are gonna start figuring out where that wall is gonna end up and then our, our angle of where it's gonna go. <laughs> and then basically everything this way of that wall is all getting ripped off. Wow. And uh... Yay! That's big. Yeah, it's a little nerve wracking. At least it's not snowing anymore. Don't! Put that out there. <laughs> I was looking at our snowblower on the deck and I was like, we should take this off. And then I was thinking, you know what? The second we take the snowblower off the deck, it will snow. So it's staying there all summer long. So the good news here is I'm, I'm deep enough into the mountain. I've uh, excavated far enough into the wall. Is this line the wall or three feet past the wall? This is the outside of the wall. Okay, cool. 21 feet 10, well that's 21 feet 6 inches. Okay. 21 feet 10 inches is like right there. That's our concrete wall. Cool. Here goes nothing, let's see how far we can get on day two. A lot of comments about me not taking safety seriously but there are things that I do not skip on safety and that is when it comes to our digital safety today's video is sponsored by Surfshark and Surfshark is an amazing product that Ali and I have been using for years and it protects you online Surfshark is a VPN a virtual private network if you've ever heard one of those horror stories about somebody who had their Instagram account hacked or they had their bank account information stolen or their social security number was obtained all of those things can easily be hacked if you ever connect to an unsecured network. So if you're ever at a coffee shop or an airport or a library or a restaurant or somewhere that has free Wi-Fi and you connect to it, you are extremely vulnerable in that situation, unless you're using a VPN. Surfshark actually encrypts your incoming and outgoing information when you connect to unsecured networks. That makes it so that anybody that tries to obtain your information just gets a bunch of scrambled like letters and numbers and they can't do anything with it. But a service that has so many benefits, 
like Surfshark, you would expect it to be really expensive, but honestly, it's only a couple bucks a month. And right now, if you guys want to check them out, you can click the link in our description and use code Trent and Alley, and you'll actually get three months free and 83% off. So 83% off of a couple bucks is pretty close to free and you get it free for three months. So go ahead and click the link in our description and check them out. I wanted to say thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Now we're gonna go outside and get to work. breaking out the Tim Tams. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, these guys have come up with a plan. I think we are gonna get to work, but first Trent is gonna move the skid steer over here by the base of the stairs where we can use the bucket as like a trash, a trash can basically. Um, so we're gonna get that done and then get this show on the road. Holy cow? Yeah. Good or bad? That's what he said. Ah. Nice face. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> like that. I don't know what I got. <laughs> oh yeah. It's getting like a weird headache from trying to look up. And I think I was lifting my ears <laughs> while I was trying to look up. The thing is, the footings have to be deeper than this anyways. I'm just trying to make a, flat a big spot. rectangular flat spot where everything's gonna be. Mm -hmm. Then we can come back and do like some precision digging and get to where our footings need to be. Cool. And for that, you have smaller buckets and you can get nice and precise. Six inch trenching. And then we have a- Trenching? 18 inch trenching. Trencher. Trenching alley. Trent the trencher. How did they get melted? It's probably hot in there. I thought you had the AC in there. Something in the thumb. I thought there was a tint on those windows. It's a delicate chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> this looks great. Good. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> or what I should say is, I have no business doing this. <laughs> like I'm, I'm probably like five feet too far into the hill over there. I feel like it's going this way. I don't know how to make the bottom of this flat. It's better to do too much than too little. You can always level it with a little bit of gravel later. Actually, I think uh, it's the opposite. Oh, really? It's better to do too little than too much because then you can just take a little off the top. If you go too much, then mm. you're supposed to bring in like 100% compaction, like mm. road base or gravel or something to bed the footings with if you dig too deep. Huh. And that will not be fun. <laughs> well, don't dig too deep then. For that. <laughs> All right, we've made a ton of progress today. I'm stoked about it. Um, there's a little bit more time left in the day, but I know these guys are getting hungry, and we have some delicious leftovers that I'm very excited about. Those are Dada's shoes. Let's let him come inside. He wants to come inside and give you a big hug. Let him take his shoes off. Okay, take your shoes off too. What are you doing? Come in here. Brandon. 
for Brandon. Me. That's a tough one. <laughs> Pork sandwiches. Thank you. Yeah. That looks delicious. Today's golf league day. Oh yeah. You guys in contention to win this year? No. We've been <laughs> missing a lot of days. The days we've been there, we haven't been playing very well. It's not about winning. It's about having fun. That's right. Fresh coffee and bagels too A new day is waiting for us We got lots of fun stuff to do Let's go to the zoo and feed the monkeys I can lend them your baseball cap Let's make the day a bear and of fun Growing up is just a trap Just a big fat trail. I take pride in ever working that day. Can't see the use of it anyway. Who can think of such a load of crap? Growing up is just a trail. Well, it's been a wild morning today. We've been getting so much done. Behind the scenes, I feel like I just can never catch up. I think that's just everybody's life all the time. It's not just me. I remember a meme that said, being an adult is just telling yourself that you're gonna catch up every single week until you die. And that accurately describes my life because every week I'm like, I'm gonna get all caught up this week. And there's just a million things that are always on my list that never get done. <sighs> You just gotta live with it, it's fine. But the sunroom is nice and clean. Trent has actually been working outside, moving some dirt. Oh, it's a beautiful day. A little windy, but no rain, which I'm super excited about. We're making moves on excavation and hoping that we can have some concrete pretty soon. It is cold in the shade. This wind is breezy. Easy breezy beautiful today. Brandon and Trent snapped a line and Brandon is actually cutting the siding where it needs to get ripped off so we can build an addition, which is bittersweet because they put a lot of work into that, uh, but also great to see like the progress happening. Trent is actually back here trying to build a little bit of a road to access the side of the house from this side. In the winter time, we're gonna to have to use this side to snow blow, so we need an access point from that side of the house. So Trent is working on that right now. There it is, the first piece. One down, 100 to go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Our property is kind of shaped like an upside down trapezoid with the narrower part being closer to the road and then it gets wider on both sides as you go up toward the back of the property. The, the issue, I guess, is that it's so sloped. It's not really an issue, it's just like the fact is it's so sloped um, and so it's not super buildable back there like because the wider the property gets, the steeper it gets. So this dirt work is so critical to creating more functional, usable land on our property. It'll still be beautiful, it'll just be more functional. Look like an explorer. Heidi ho All right, well, I've been moving a lot of dirt. I got a lot more dirt put down on the side of the garage. I actually graded out behind the garage so that mm -hmm. it has like a little bit of a slope away from the building and it's easier for me to drive back and forth over there. Now I'm gonna jump in the uh, excavator and start pulling all this dirt and kind of excavating into the mountain the way that we need to. But now it's getting to the point where taking the extra dirt and putting it on that side is like way more work to move it all over there and then lift it up. So I'm gonna see if I can start kind of excavating and flatten this spot out and then start putting dirt up here and I can use the skid steer to move the dirt out that way. Ah! Look at that! Wow! Full piece! That's beautiful! Can we reuse those? Maybe? I don't know. I don't think anything else is gonna be blue actually, so. Then no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Hi. What's on your head? Hey, are you a dinosaur? What does a dinosaur say? I I'm not gonna lie, I love this weather. The winter is nice sometimes, but whoa, it's so windy. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Sketchy, huh, Leo? <laughs> Trent is working on excavation. Brandon is removing siding. Sydney and Leo are playing on the deck. And I'm gonna take advantage of the house to myself to vacuum, which might not sound like a big deal to you guys, but it's a huge deal to me. <laughs> The house is a little bit more clean. I did as much vacuuming as I could before the vacuum died. It's amazing having a cordless vacuum, but you do have to recharge it. And if you forget, then it dies in the middle of you vacuuming. But I did get a bunch of cleaning up done and I'm just coming back here and looking at how unbelievable it looks. This is a huge improvement. Look how flat and wide this space is. I'm really excited. How you doing? Man, you look the part. Thanks. <laughs> I'm an excavator. Excavator. I don't think he can hear you. How's it going so far? He can hear me. Uh, you know, just like a high consequence video game. As long as you don't hit the house. Yeah. I like running the excavator especially. There's like something about my neck or my head or something that I'm like flexing or like tensing. Uh -huh. And it like gives me the biggest headache to run this thing. Really? Yeah, it's not fun. You wanna switch? You wanna have a house? <laughs> well, you don't know my ability. <laughs> yeah, you're right, I don't. <laughs> what a nice level surface to be storing your coffee on. You like that? That's not precarious at all. It hasn't spilled yet. <laughs> That's good. Well, you can pull off of that cut line 21 feet and you can just go all the way.
notion that I could be brave. Is there anything good on the radio? Turn it up loud and let me know how it used to be before anyone heard of you and me. Wallaby. It's for me? Yeah. Caramel. Have you already had one? Yeah. And <laughs> you think I'm gonna like it? Oh yeah. It's legit. Caramel. 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 How do I say that? It's caramelized caramel. white chocolate. Wow. It looks like this. And it tastes good. Thank you. working on your truck. Hey, How you doing? Thanks. <laughs> what you doing? Uh, just putting on an intake. Oh yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. Pulling the dump trailer was a little bit more strugglesome than we liked with this truck, so we're gonna throw this intake on there and see if we can kind of keep the temperatures down. You're just sneaking in a little bit of Trent's garage. Yeah, you know. You don't have to film this. I know a lot of people are gonna be upset that we're doing <laughs> some garage content on Trent and Alley, but... <laughs> This is cool. Look at that floppy thing. <laughs> That's not going to work. Trent lost a ratchet all the way down there. It's not floppy. Someone just broke it. I don't know if that's strong enough. It's pretty strong. Okay. Oh. Oh, and it was the oh. little fella. <laughs> like nothing. If it was that 3 8 on it probably wouldn't have. <laughs> exactly what to do? Kind of. It's exactly, but... What kind of cars did you put an intake on? Our other Cummins. Oh, then you got this. And Brandon's Cummins. Oh, oh. same, same. Mm -hmm. That's it? Let me see. Old intake? It's an intake ram. I just called it an intake because it's hard to explain, but oh. anybody that knows what this is will be like, that's not the intake. Okay. Um, it looks like an intake to me, so. Looks like an intake to you? Yeah. I can, I can believe that. <laughs> Are you diving in? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Feed him a Cheeto into his mouth? Well, I didn't touch his face. That's true friendship right there. <laughs> Trent and Brandon are getting it done. Sounds like it's not going perfectly, but at least it's going. 
but it's getting late in the afternoon. And I think Leo is up from his nap. Hello, hello. What you doing? Hug. Big hug for Sydney. Oh. Can you say thank you? Thank you, Sydney. <laughs> Sydney is actually moving back to Wisconsin uh, to be near family, and we have loved having her help us out over the last few months. Leo has definitely appreciated it as well, and she will be missed. So thank you, Sydney, if you're watching this. Today was her last day, actually, and uh, so bittersweet. We're excited for your future, and we're sad to see you go. Right, buddy? Right? Did you say bye-bye, Sydney? That's right, bye-bye. Oh, all right guys, I just finished installing the intake. It has been a long day and uh, I'm glad that's done. It is pitch black outside. I was like working with a headlamp and stuff. <laughs> Not exactly the, the funnest experience, but I'm glad that it's over with. And uh, we've actually had quite a bit going on. And we've made so much more progress than I think you've even realized. Like the excavation is at least halfway done on the addition. Yeah, probably. It's but, going I mean, there's way other exca excavation that has to happen besides just the addition or yeah. just the foundation, so that we still have a bunch of other stuff to do, but we are making some progress. And Brandon did get a bunch of the siding yeah. removed off the back of the house, so like, we're chipping away at this uh, this giant boulder we're trying to take down. I'm so excited. <laughs> anyway, I think this is where we're gonna let you guys go. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys, we love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.